किसी की आवाज है You can look from here. It will. Shouting game come here. Raksha, this way. Starfish. Starfish, Raksha. Let's get in. Let's get into the night hunter. Raksha, a big fish. Look. Kind of zebra fish. Look here. The snake fish. Which fish it is? On the glass. Look. Big star fish. Captain. Sorry, I think we are on wrong path, Raksha. Wow. Hi, Raksha. Come, baby. Dark to light. Wow, show time. One, two, three. देखना है? इसका show देखना है ना हमको? Wow. Raksha, see. Look, he's swimming. Look, Raksha. Swim करेगा. यहाँ पर show चलेगा अभी ना? Sea lions, they only have one layer of fur. Now, the easiest and the safest way for you to tell the difference between
between the teeth is to watch them swim. Only fur seals bubble when they swim, sea lions do not. Now these bubbles are actually coming from her fur as well, guys. We're not feeding our seals beans or anything silly. Those bubbles come from the fur. So if it bubbles, fur seal, if it doesn't, it's a sea lion. Oh, and a camelot bubble from a nose as well. Behaviors as well. It is important that we do check our seals over each and every day. We always start 
top, we have a good look inside those beautiful brown eyes. Here you go, girl. Unfortunately, as they get older, they are sensitive to things like ulcers and cataracts. We can check flippers. Oh, just look at our hands and feet. The steel flippers have five digits and five toenails, just like our hands and feet. And then finally, the most important part of today's health check, we're going to ask this little seal to lie down nice and still for me. There we go, we'll get there eventually. So while Millie's here, we can check all the hard to reach places. So we can check her back slippers, we can check her tail and her bottom. Check that one as well, well done Millie. And then we can have a good stroke down Nellie's body here, feeling for any lump, any bump, or any warm spot. Now this is a very good position as well, in case our vets ever need to visit. Sometimes they have to use equipment like ultrasound, or x-rays so we can check the internals of our seal. And because we train Nelly to do so, it means we can do it quite easily and we don't have to sedate her. We don't want to do that. It's very dangerous for the animals. So we train them instead. Can we give Nelly a big cheer for that? Well done, Nelly. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Can I tell you a little bit about the threat that these beautiful seals face, unfortunately? One of the most dangerous threats is actually the effect that we have on our wildlife. For example, marine mammals, they're known for getting caught up in things called ghost nets. Now, ghost net is a piece of fishing net which has been discarded either by accident, it's floated away, or it's been left behind. Now, when animals like seals see these nets, they'll go over, see if there's something to play with, see if there's something to eat. But if they get stuck and can't get out, <laughs> it makes them really poorly. Give her an arm. Oh, poor Nelly. <laughs> Luckily, this little seal in particular is just very traumatic. There we go. She's absolutely fine, really. What we're going to do is we're going to take away this netting and she's going to be feeling much better. Another threat that Nelly would face in the wild, a natural threat this time, see if you can guess what it is from Nelly's fantastic impression. Shout it out as loud as you can if you know the answer. You ready? <laughs> and keep going this way, keep going this way. That's it. And then change. Any guesses, what is it? Oh, it needs to be louder than that. What is it? Shark. Well done. Shark like great white shark and bull shark love to eat. We don't like them, do we? No. <laughs> the no. best thing for Nelly to do, if she sees a shark, is to get back onto the dry land and then we just hide, don't we? Hide away. Hopefully, those sharks would swim away and she'd be much better. Well done. <laughs> but if she was in the middle of the ocean, no dry land in sight. What they understand do each and every <laughs> word, no? as she jumps in and out of the water, it creates lots of waves, lots of bubbles, and that's a really good way to confuse sharks. Oh, well, Amanda! Really Yay! Yeah. Now, we don't worry about sharks here at the It's aquarium. raining, it's no, raining. You want chips? Pool. But we do no, still no, have no, to check the really water right. every morning, don't we, together. So we check the beaches, Nelly checks the pools for us. Have a, go on, have a good look. A thorough look. Is there anything there? Lovely, thank you. Now we know that most pools are nice and clear because we've been out this morning to check them and take away any rubbish. Unfortunately, we are finding more and more rubbish is coming into our pools because less and less people are putting it into the bin. So much so that we've had to teach Nelly what she needs to do with any litter that she finds in the pool. So for example, bottles of water get left behind in the sand quite often. The wind picks them up, throws them into the pool. And unfortunately, it's then left to little Nelly to make sure that we pick up this litter. <laughs> and she knows, in theory, well done, yay! That was very 
Are you going to put the exhibit at any point today? <laughs> Well done! Now, this is the Come on, give it a rest. Thank you. And this is the opportunity to explain to you guys a little bit more about Nelly's training. So, we use positive reinforcement. So, we try and cheer her on as much as we can. When she gets the behaviour right, well said, she gets reward. Now, that whether that's us telling her she's done well, Sometimes fishy treats, sometimes we have a bit of a snuggle, don't we? Come on. Especially when she's having a bad day. You alright? Oh, oh. <laughs> Mouthful of nose there. Eh? Yeah. Just little gestures. Give so love practice, girl. Now, we don't ever punish her at all. If she ever gets it wrong, well then, we don't tell her off. Uh, we don't take any food away from her. She still gets all of her food. Uh, we just move on to something that we know she can get right. Now the last thing we're going to finish with today is a nice big ball jump from, from Nelly. We're going to go for three hits of the balls. Now for each one that she does, let's give her a big cheer. Are we ready Nelly? Off we go. Got number one. Woo! Let's try two. Well done. And as long as we can for the last one, number three. Woo! Yeah! Come on guys, give a big round of applause. Yay! 13 minutes. So unfortunately that has brought us towards the end of our training with Nelly today. Um, if you have any questions at all, we're more than happy to answer those for you. She is about to come across the front of the glass. Done! Oh, done! And um, so we do need to Hello, Raksha, done! just a moment's time. Maybe I don't need um, it. And if you would like to have your photograph are you? taken uh, with one of our students' birth fields, then I will come round and I will give you all the information about that. Thank you, Leon, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely wow. great. Thank you very much. Snake! Snake? You really? Hello. You see, Kia Vaja? Huh? No. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm Wow, it's jellyfish! Sugar? Booty?